Welcome. Let's take a look at using Newton's method to approximate the x value of a point of intersection of two functions. The functions we're looking at are f of x equals x squared minus 4 and g of x equals 2x minus 3. We will be using an initial guess of x naught equals 0 when we apply Newton's method. So typically when we find the point of intersection of two functions, we set the two functions equal to each other and solve for x. So that would look something like x squared minus 4 equals 2x minus 3. Now we would try and solve for 0, or solve, set it equal to 0 and solve. So I would subtract 2x from both sides of the equ equation. So I have x squared minus 2x minus 4 equals negative 3. And then I would add 3 to both sides of the equation. I would end up with x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. Now x squared minus 2x minus 1 is not easily factorable. Um, typically we might use the quadratic formula to solve that. But with Newton's method, we're interested in the zeros of a function, or where that function equals zero. So we could easily use Newton's method and consider our function f of x in Newton's me method to be x squared minus 2x minus 1. And if we did that, then the derivative f prime of x for Newton's method would be 2x minus 2. So let's take a t uh, time to set up a table to organize the information and determine uh, the approximate value of the point of intersection. So our first column will be the iteration, or n. Next, we will keep track of the approximation at that iteration. Next, we'll need to keep track of the function value at that approximation, and then the derivative of the function value at that approximation, and then lastly, what our next approximation will be using this previous information. That is, our next approximation will be the previous approximation minus f at x in divided by f prime at x in. Now we were told to um, start with an initial guess of 0, so x in is 0. Now f at x in is 0 squared minus 2 times 0 minus 1, so that will give us a negative 1 for f at x in f prime at x in, that would be 2 times 0 minus 2, so that would be a negative 2. And then our next approximation will be um, the, our 0 minus our function value divided by the derivatives value. And in this case, we get um, a negative one half. And since we're asked to approximate the x value to 0 0.01 accuracy, we'll go ahead and record that in decimal form as 0 0.05. I'm sorry, negative 0 0.5. So our first approximation is negative 0 0.5. Now we need to evaluate the, the function in, now we need to evaluate our f of x that we're using for Newton's method at zero, negative 0 0.5. And when we evaluate the, that function at negative 0 0.5, we get 0 0.25, or 1 quarter. 
and then evaluating um, the derivative at negative 0 0.5 again. Uh, that will give us a value of negative 3. <clears throat> so then our new approximation is negative 0 0.5 minus 0 0.25 divided by negative 3. And that is approximately negative 0 0.416, and we'll go to four decimal places, 6, 7. We're going to four decimal places because we want accuracy to three decimal places. So then <clears throat> our second um, iteration has produced an x value that is negative 0 0.4167. And so now we will iterate, we'll go through the process again using 0 0.4167 in the function we created and its derivative. So if we do that, we find f at negative 0 0.4167 is equal to 0 0.0070 to four decimal places. And then f prime at a is negative 2.8334 to four decimal places. So our new um, x value, uh, we will find using the formula at the top of the last column. We will take negative four point, I'm sorry, negative point four one six seven minus point zero zero seven zero divided by negative two point eight three three four. Now when we do that we get negative 0 0.4142. This becomes our x3. So we have negative 0 0.4142. And notice that right now, uh, our two of our decimal places agree between x2 and x3. So it may be the case that this is the last iteration that we need to go through to get the desired um, precision. So let's go ahead. We need to evaluate our function at negative 0.4142 and the derivative there as well. So when evaluating the function um, and tra keeping track to four decimal places, we get 0 0.0000 for our function value. And then for f prime at our x value, we get negative 2.8284. Now, when we um, use the formula here, to find our next x value, notice that we have 0 over negative 2.8. So we're subtracting 0. So this really ends up being negative 0 0.4142 minus 0. So on our fourth iteration, we have negative 0 0.4142. So notice that now, um, our two successive iterations produce the same value. So, and it is at, thus accurate to the indicated precision. So we would end up saying that the X value of the point of intersection is approximately um, is negative 0 0.4142.
I hope you find this helpful.